Right. What is the price? I'm the ramen noodles. Perfect. That was been going on. Hey man, welcome back. Black market is open. Black market is open. We got some young men here with us today. Gotta let them know when you hit it right here. That mean big money going up. Big money. Big money. Market's open. Don't nothing happen. Change the, the bell. Ball. Okay, cool. It's wrong. First of all, I need to welcome each and every last one of y'all to the trap. This the trap right here. Welcome to the trap, brother. Welcome to the trap. Welcome to the trap, man. We're gonna bring them the ghetto legends through here. You gotta to really be on it to get up in here. Okay, cool. So y'all got a pass, though. Somebody who's official and certified brought y'all through here. So y'all good either way. Have all the snacks you want to have. You really at the crib. Just, just based off who brought you. But today on the black market, we got a very special treat, man. I told you this platform was created to highlight, show love to people in the community doing positive things, black-owned business, things that uplift the black community. And I got none other than my real partner. We used to run the streets for real out here every night. For real, for real. I'm talking about court cases. Uh, ups and downs. Down. Street life. He ain't never say I was never. We was right there. <laughs> and then we got the pictures. Come on, man. None other than, you know him, Parley. But today, he ain't Parley. He ain't parlay today. No, nah, no, nah, I ain't parlay today. I ain't parlay today. You coach today. I'm coach today. Co parlay. Co lane. That's where they hit you yeah. at. Co lane. Co lane. Co lane. Co lane. Co lane. Man, it's been a long time coming, man. No, for sure. That, you, no. you really jumped out there with the with the youth. Mm -hmm. What was what year did you start with? 2015. I'm saying what age group? They was 10 then. Okay. They was 10 then. I've been coaching football like 12 years though. Yeah. But I've been doing this like seven years. So it was like, yeah. Like 2016. 2016. Man, I'm sure a lot of people knew that you coached football. They probably thought you were just a dad doing the summer thing. But this is yeah. all year round now. Yes. I, and being honest, for real, I think that, um, I think we the reason why it's year round. Uh, our first 7 on 7 program was called Peachtree Elite. That was the first one. Uh, me and my dog Jabo uh, was coaching the kids at first. This is back, like I say, 2016. So you gotta think, this is Georgia, right? So everybody in Georgia back then, oh man, they ain't, they ain't talking about, man, that shit ain't, they ain't that, man. Yeah, yeah, this Georgia football, we gonna power it down your throat. Right. We gonna run it down your throat. That's, you know, that's all they used to say. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hey man, California, Texas, Florida, but hey, they, they, I'm telling y'all, ain't gonna be no real, you know what I'm saying? People laughing. The second year, it was probably about four or five teams started playing, doing it too. The third year, I probably was about, man, yeah, I'm in the team on this. About 20, about 20 teams. Now after then, so now, then it started that as soon as tackle in, you go to 7 on 7. And then as soon as 7 on 7 in, you, it's back springtime spring, yeah, for tackle yeah, again. Two a day. So now this shit, now it's year round now. It wasn't year round before Peace Street Elite, no facts. Facts. Well, that's dope that you got to take a program and build it as big as you've built it. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure, like I said, a lot of people know that you coach, but they didn't know how serious and how deep it was, man. Who you bringing here with you today? I know you got something to play. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got my players, you know, young men, you know what I'm saying? I brought them here doing great things, you yeah. know what I'm saying? They schools, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> They're achieving, achieving great things. I, I got a lot of kids on my team, you know what I'm saying, who I could have brought, you know what I'm saying, um, um, up here because it's like, and then with three, four, five star kids who I, who, who I bring on the team, right. you know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, we'll start to my left, then we'll swing all the way to the right. Y'all hey, introduce yourselves. Let yourself. these young men introduce themselves and talk to these folks. What's going on, y'all? My name is Jojo, Jojo Stone, Joseph Stone, however you want to call it. Uh, I go to Langston Hughes High School. Full okay. I'm committed to LSU. Hey, that's what's up, bro. Uh, my name is Duke. 
Oh, I'm running back Stockbridge High School. I mean, you look like a running back. You got a square head. <laughs> <laughs> That's not accurate. So strong. Hey, uh, going to Duke. Three star, three star kid. And I got, I got Duke. So might go to Duke. You never know. It's on the team. Chosen, team chosen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Nah, for sure. My name is Antoine Hill Jr. Hey, but Coach Lay know. They call me AJ. I'm a quarterback. I go to Houston County High. Class 25. So. Oh, my name is Bryce. I'm a receiver at Parkview, class of 2024. No star athlete, just playing him with nonsense. Hey, there you go. That means everything. That means I do everything. You know, he do everything. Yeah, that's good. No, no, I'm talking about like, I need, I need a nipple. Twin, let's go. Twin. I need a safety. Twin, let's go. Oh, okay. I need, I need another ride right receiver. Twin, let's go. Twin it. That's Miss, what that's that's Miss he's a football player. Yeah, nah, he do it all for real. Where's your twin at? No, for real. Good twin at. What twin at? Oh, God. Uh, you see, say the best for last. My name is Bryson Oliver, a.k.a. <laughs> first guy. First guy, every time. Uh, I go to Westlake High School, class of 2024. That's what's up, man. That's on Strap a lot. We call him on Strap. You play DB. Right. We call him on Strap a lot. Shop and Coach Yells has he been 10. Been strapping since I was 10. Boy, Boy, yeah. Tell me. Yeah, I've been coaching at San so this is like six years straight, literally. Right. Like tackle football and 707, like back to back for like six years straight. You know what I'm saying? And I done seen him really come from where he's from, come way where he was and be where he at now. Uh, I'll put him up against any other DB, five star, four star, whoever you I put him up against anybody. And put my money up again with him. You know what I'm saying? He like that, for sure that. They got their dog in there. Yeah, no, nah, definitely. Like, it up too. Oh, that's what it Backing is. Up the money. You got to. Yeah, I'm like, I ain't, ain't popping. <laughs> so, look, let me ask you this. I, I know you from the rap side also, mm -hmm. but you've always been able to connect with the youth in a different kind of way, man, with, you know, the energy and just understanding them, bro. What type of things are you learning just by being around, you know, so much of the young energy? Oh, uh, just how to. Uh, how to stay on my how to stay on my pivot. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they they keep me honest. Being honest, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's, it's important as a coach, especially where I come from, and I, I coach how I act. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like how you see me, then it's how I coach. You see what I'm saying? So I cuss, I do all fuss, I kick my hat, throw my thing down, everybody run, I get mad, you know what I'm saying? But it's hard for me to not do some, I mean, uh, they keep me not doing things that I tell them don't do. And stop arguing with people. Stop getting people face. You get, if you're gonna talk shit, you gotta learn how to talk shit. And I apply that stuff to my everyday living life. Right. And I'm probably like, how you gonna do this? You just telling, the, you just telling your player, like, he can't be doing this. So they really keep me honest, for real. That's what's up, man. I see y'all got some. This drip? Oh yeah. Drip. 85 oh, South. Man, yeah. sure, give us an 85 South show, man. Now listen, let me tell you how it is. Nah, they 85 South definitely jerked us up this year. Not with just these jobs, but we got two uniforms, two hot uniforms. Now listen, we had to do the hot uniform, I'm telling you why too. Because 85 South always do the Atlanta thing stuff. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I said, so we gotta keep it, we gotta keep it serious. You know what I'm saying? But so y'all will see them uniform real soon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, the uniform hard too. We got two sets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, nah, for real. So like how how is the program though the it's a, a honcho elite seven on seven, man? It's like walk us through that. Well, um me, me and my wife Anisha, like I said, we had um Peace Street Elite at first. You know what I'm saying? And um me and Quavo were real cool friends. You know what I'm saying? And I had been doing it for a few years. Right. Then he just hit me like, man, you know what, bro? I want to do the 7 on 7 thing. You know what I'm saying? So we sat down, chopped it up, and came up with Huncho Elite. You know what I'm saying? Um, so shout out to Quavo, you know yeah. what I'm saying, too, you know what I'm saying, for helping us do everything that we're doing. You know what I'm saying? So most of the kids had already had. You know what I'm saying? So last year was our first year having Huncho Elite. We had 17 teams. You know what I'm saying? Like we had 17 teams, six, six you, all the way up to 18 you. You know what I'm saying? And some, some age group had two teams. You know what I'm saying? So this year, I wanted to focus more on helping the kids who are in high school, who come into high school, develop, and understand how it is if you want to play early in high school, and help the kids who's transitioning to college stay focused on their grind, get ready for the college. So this year, I'm only doing middle school up. 
Okay, you know now this is crazy. Now we know you started out with the athletics even kind of before the music. Yeah. And now it's making the full circle with Thanks. you getting back into the sports, man. Like, looking back, how does that feel? To know that that's your first love and then coming back to it to, to spread it out of the young man, you know what I'm saying? I, I think it's, uh, I like it because it gave me a real strong sense to help them not get lazy and take the same lazy path I took. Right. You know what I'm saying? With me understanding how much potential I had, all this seven on seven, training, uh, social media, for people to stars and rank, we didn't have all that shit. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, I understand how easy it is to get lost now. Right. And, and, and with everything that's going on, so me being able to be that connection with them to be like, now nah, listen, dog, all this stuff y'all see, y'all think cool, and I'm been that, I done been that before. You know what I'm saying? That ain't what it is. Focus on this, now. All them friends y'all got, they still gonna be our friend when y'all come back. You see what I'm saying? So me being able to lead them that way, I think is the, the, the best thing from it. And I've been noticing you bring a lot of people around, you know, the team, the different influences, people who done played at the highest level. I just wanted to ask some of the guys in the group, there was like, do y'all get to feel the impact of that? Just to see right. people who've been to the level that you want to go to, and you come to practice every day, and they right there. You know what I mean? Do you see how important and how valuable that is to pushing you to the next level? Uh, yes, yes. I actually do because uh, we got Coach Core. He uh, he told us about the personal stuff that he's going through right now. Um, I don't know if you know how deep his resume is, man. It, that boy got a hell of a resume. Nah, he, they, don't, they really, don't know. They don't he know. Really no, nah, they don't know about. They don't. Now nah, they don't. We, it's just been sports. Nah, I'm telling you. He, he, he one of them ones. You know what I'm nah, saying? Sure. Like it ain't just like he just looked up and got to the league. Like he a dog like that, and he went and played a lot of different places. So it's like the experience that he bring you and trying to tell you like certain things that he can't say because of yeah. still wants you to be able to enjoy the game. You know, as a young man, but. You can really take this to another level. There's so many different things you could do within the sports world where you don't have to just put the wear and tear on your body or, you know what I mean, sacrificing yourself. So pay attention to what's around you and peep opportunities. You know what I'm saying? You play football? Of course. Huh? What you play? Of course. What I play? Yeah. The most? Yeah. <laughs> When I played the most sideline <laughs> practice, <laughs> no, I wasn't no sideline player for anybody. Yeah. Tell you that, bro. No, real shit. Okay. But cool. I did have one incident where they thought I wasn't gonna make it. What happened? Bro, I got hit so hard one day. You know what a crack block is, right? Yeah. That's when they. That's when you hit they somebody they don't see. Bro, oh yeah, you because you that's you don't need to do that shit. That shit <laughs> turned you into Jello later on. Hey, boy. Oh, so look, I'm running. Like, I'm, I'm playing like this. That that night, the end of the ninth grade year was yeah. like you ain't on ninth grade football no more. You on yeah. varsity. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> Bro, I was running across the field know. full speed. I see the quarterback. I'm looking right at him. And then the next thing I see, I'm like, damn, I know them shoes from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> them look like my shoes, but why they, why they in the cloud? And then I hit the ground and cool. I had, a, you know how they had like the dirt get stuck, little piece right here. Yeah. I had the whole side. <laughs> You know, all the screws oh, on the man. helmet keep the face mask off. Every last one of them broke on one side. I get up, my face mask hanging off. Damn. Coach looking at me like I'm dead. <laughs> he said, boy, you all right? <laughs> shit, I'm trying to strap it up. It ain't nothing to strap. <laughs> hey, shit, strap ain't up. nothing to strap. It over with then, man. Hey, it was over with. Nah, for real. It was over with after that. I still be waking up sometimes like, <laughs> it be from nothing but that. I just, I just experienced that this past year. I ain't never really been hit. Like, my sophomore year, I had this one hit. End up uh, fracturing a bone somewhere in the back of my neck. Some shit you didn't even know you had. Man. <laughs> I this nigga said it's in my neck. Touch this ear. You still, <laughs> you still messed up. Yeah. <laughs> shit was in my neck somewhere. <laughs> one of them ones, though. Yeah. I ain't you ever hit somebody and then it felt like they hit you? Did you know you hit them? Kick off. Kick off, boy. Running down there on kickoff like chicken with no head. I'm linebacker, man. I'm linebacker be too strong on kickoff, man. They be ready to crash out. Yeah, you know what's worse than getting hit, though? It's hitting somebody that's musty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hit somebody that's musty, you just be musty the rest of the game, but it ain't you. They'll put they'll, the must on you. They'll put the must on you. It's all long as you turn. Ain't nothing you can do to get that must off. Yeah. You got to put it in the washing machine. Nope. 
Mm-hmm. That must definitely gonna stay. And don't let it be the don't let it be the liquid must. Yeah, exactly. And they get it on you. <laughs> and it all is it over. <laughs> over with. <laughs> Over with, but that was and like high school. That's when you learn, though. Some people are really built for this. Yeah, they, they granddad and them play football. Yeah. They they way strong. I was like, bro, yeah. I'm, I'm so much better at telling jokes than doing anything that requires me being hit by another person. <laughs> I'm good. Where you think little boy? Where you think son get it from? Huh? Where you think he get it from? Oh man, I don't know. Cause he just the craziest me. He fearless. He fearless. He ain't scared of shit. <laughs> I'm talking about my son is a different breed. It's not for real, for real. Yeah. It's just dope to see that though, man. Just to, you know, y'all, y'all at that age where the shit's still fun. You better take advantage of it. Cause you really at the age where you don't get tagged yet, for real. We gotta get you to a game, bro. Nah, I, bro, you know I'm coming. Yeah, you gotta lead us out. Not and talk chain mm-hmm. now. We be lit now. We be on some. What you think I'm gonna be doing? Yeah, we be lit now. They be lit now. It when they time. Come on, man. Nah, he don't know. He talking about lit. Nah, we be locked in nah. lit. Yeah. Like, what kind of lit you thought I was talking about? Like, yeah, we turned up finna play. Like, nah, none of that. Bro, he been knowing me longer than a lot of people in this room. He know I would come to your game and talk shit. Yeah. Win, lose, or draw. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> no, Win, lose, or draw. Bullshit. I'm talking about. Even if we got there, yeah. even if we don't win, we're gonna talk so much shit, they gonna no, think we won. That's real. Nah, that ass real. Y'all think he was, he dead ass real though. The whole game. He probably gonna talk I mean, when shit I play y'all. sports, yeah, even no. when we lost, I talk so much shit. I made the motherfucker who wanted to win fight. Like, what you want to fight for? Y'all won. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You said you ain't play, but in practice. I didn't say that. I said that's why I played the most. I know. Yeah, because you know, like you said, you just be looking for something yeah. that. I was that player. I play anything in practice. <laughs> so how many minutes you think you got in the real game? In the minutes? If I had to add it up through the whole career? Whole no, career. Game, like each game. Each game? Yeah, each I game. played more than I didn't. Huh? <laughs> he played more than he didn't play. Yeah. I was active. I wasn't just on the team. Look at me, bro. I got so much charisma. But what school <laughs> you went to? I'm from Mississippi. It's, a, it's different down there. What part of Mississippi? Oxford, North Mississippi. Did you say it's well, different like that? Bro, you ever seen a nigga from Mississippi? Yeah. Exactly. Mississippi. Grass fed. Motherfuckers built different. You can't hurt a nigga from Mississippi. It's like you got we cut you Teflon strong. or something. Shit, this nigga might be from Mississippi. Then. He might. Uh, he <laughs> looks indestructible. I'm telling you. <laughs> nah, look at it. <laughs> nah, ain't nah, real. Nah, nigga, you got a problem trying to tackle him. Bro, I listen, wouldn't want to. Was, in ninth grade, he was 13 years old. In ninth grade. All right, he rushed for 11 touchdowns, 1100 yards. And then he don't turn, he ain't turn 14 to what, September? Something like that? September. The football season, man, it's been three, it's third month of football season. So you don't, you don't coach the young 10 year olds no more? Now you nah, don't move they, they to- are the 10 year olds that I coached in. Every year I just went up with them. So when they turned 11, I went up to them. When they turned 12, I went to 12. When they went to 13, 14, you know what I'm saying? I just keep, I keep, keep going up with them. Yeah. I, I, I met JoJo last year when we started first started doing Huncho Elite. And, you know, I really didn't know a lot about their age group because I coached the age group up under them. And every kid I talked to, like, all the stud kids I talked to would be like, you talk to JoJo? I kept saying, who the fuck is JoJo? You know what I'm saying? So then I ran into him. And I talked to him, and then I don't, ever since then, I don't know what they have, but I, I ain't got rid of him since. This is my nephew. You know what I'm saying? He would call me up. So a lot of these kids call me up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I ain't scared of the up no more. So I, I ain't used to like the up. I ain't scared of that no more. You call me up now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not up. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. They, so you they see how you recognize different. that? You know that. They uncle look different, that's, that's important as a own. You, you know have to know when it's like, you know what? Man, I need to go and take this in, bro. My nephew and them got this. A lot of a lot of old dudes won't get out the way. You got to let the young dudes, hey, it's they turn, bro. Nah, for real. It's they turn. Let me ask y'all, so who are some of the some of y'all favorite players, you know, that y'all study from the modern day age of, of, of this football and sports and entertainment? Who are some of the people that really? y'all look up to? When Cam Newton was good, 
Well, he still lives. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you see what I'm saying? I'm saying like Don't man. ever let the people who run the cameras trick you like that man ain't who he is, bro. He's still that. Yeah, he's Today, still Today he that. He did somebody in prime. He made the same like MVP prime. Yeah, he's prime. still that now. He's thinking motherfucker throwing football through one of these walls. No bullshit, man. I'm a Nick Chubb guy. He's just high Chubb school. Chubb guy. Yeah. <laughs> he talked like a running back, too. <laughs> he been hit <laughs> in the <laughs> face, in the head a lot. Been Nick Chubb, okay, back. who you who you uh, watch? Man, I be watching DBs, receivers. I watch running back. I watch everything. But my favorite player, Alvin Kamara. What if it's a San Francisco? Yeah. But uh, to all the people watching this, man, who want to get involved, who support you, and you know what I mean, they want to put the resources around you. How they get in touch with Coach Lay, man? Um, you can hit the page at Huncho Elite Seven V Seven on Instagram. Uh, you can send us an uh, email, Huncho Elite Seven V Seven at Gmail. Uh, they can hit you. You will hit me. You know it. They can hit Cord. He will hit me. You can reach out to Niche. Cool, you gotta at least step in here and say what's up, bro. You hit my page, you hit my at, personal at page, the podcast page. Come on, auntie, get in here and say what's up. Bring everybody that got something to do I'm with it. No, nah, don't play. Oh, you sound like trying to get corporate yeah, and play with the background. Oh, That's why I keep calling them out. <laughs> come on, you come here, sit down, come sit down. Come on, auntie. Come on, come sit down. Right, yeah, we got to put you yeah. on the program. I, I, I got you in here. I know right what down. you do. I'm trying to tell you. I'm playing. Hey guys. Welcome, welcome to the family. Welcome. Give us a What's up? What's happening? You know, that's, that's even bigger than responsibility than coaching when you got 20 hungry boys looking wow. for auntie, trying to, you know what I mean? Oh, After the game and dealing with all these emotions. the game, done the game. That's you get the game. Right, right, exactly. Right. Auntie, where my sock at? <laughs> <laughs> we already know how that goes, so give us a little game, introduce yourself. We got mics, we're gonna pick it up. All right, well, I'm Nisha. They call me Auntie. Um, I have the most rewarding job because I get to see after all of my boys. I said I have 150 nephews, and I just take care of them from getting to school, feeding them, things they may need from day-to-day -day basis, sometimes mental health checks, yeah. um, making sure they're doing what they're supposed to do at home, and just helping them become the young man that they can be. That's what's up. Coy, what you got for him? Man, I'm just Coach Coy, stepping in and help late. Uh, I suppose, wait, this is my first year with Huncho Elite. Uh, official. But, official. Final. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> second, it's second year, but the first year official. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, supposed been out there with him last year. But um, just stepping back out, like you said, uh, to, to really uh, guide them, help them out through the process, understanding, you know, transitioning outside of sport, uh, sport back to real life. And um, like I said, really bring them, you know, that, that the other side of the game, you know, from what I learned from my time in playing. So making That's sure what they, I was just about to ask you, man. How you give them the real information and keep it pure at the same time without, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, you know the, the other side we of the game. We were just actually outside talking about that, about yeah. recruiting and all that kind of stuff and just being able to understand, you know, the value in themselves and how the recruiting process go. I, I ain't went into the business side of, of, of you know, the NFL and all that kind of stuff yet, but just getting them to understand that this next level actually going into college is business. Yeah. So we got to start moving like businesses, treating it like that. This NIL situation is serious. So, you know, putting them, exposing them to guys like yourself so they can understand, you know, how much media, how, you know, it's important and um, being able to hold these interviews and just hold themselves accountable for everything that's going on. So it's, it's been a dope process. I appreciate Leif for bringing me out. Nisha, like I said, she's a big piece of the glue. She not only deal with the kids, but the parents, you know, everything that's going on. And it's going to be dope to see all these boys go off to the next level and do their thing and then be able to come back and drop some more gems and be back on 85. Cause exactly. Sports stuff coming to 85 too. You know? Exactly. So, We're trying to get over there, man. Yeah. But I do want every young man in here on, on the set right now to understand you have an advantage. Have an advantage right now. You got people that actually care about your well-being. That's trying to push you to the next level. That's trying to give you benefits that you don't even know right now. So make sure you take advantage of it. Life go fast, yeah, real fast. Okay. You're like you still at you in the prime of your youth right now, but it's big decisions that's coming to you whether you know it or not. Having to pick a school, having to stay in school. The easy part is getting in there. What's gonna motivate you to stay when it ain't football season? 
when the basketball when the basketball season come around, you know, that's the biggest thing on campus. So it's like, you still have to have things that's gonna keep you focused and keep you going to the next level. Whatever your next level is, just like court to tell you, Paulie will tell you. Sometimes you you might get to make it to wherever you want to go with it. Mm-hmm. It's like, God still got something else for you to do. Sure you get what I'm saying? Don't never lose focus on that. Coach Lay, mm-hmm. we can do this all day. This really yeah. turned into a black ESPN right hey, now. Man. Hello. We, this really a 30 for 30. Nah, for real. It's a seven on seven, but we really shooting a 30, 30 for 30. Come on, man. Nah, for real. Now, I'm glad y'all came before the season. So that way we can put some promo behind and get the city to come out. You think y'all been turn up? <laughs> I ain't brought my people to no game yet. Okay, cool. I might show up with my own band. We ain't got no school. Just a bunch of niggas. <laughs> just a bunch of niggas who used to be in the band yeah. who still got y'all. Y'all bring y'all bring with y'all. Bro, you got y'all bring. Y'all bring with y'all, man. We ain't that. You can't come. Come on, bro. Y'all don't even know Coach Late know a thousand dances. <laughs> he said that yeah. was Shit. What he said the other day, he said he gonna do the dance at practice. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. All the music y'all listen to, he was one of them niggas who created that that whole young nigga sound wave. He'll tell you. Sure. That's real. No, so no, make sure no, you no. take advantage. Auntie, everybody around you care about you. It ain't just, you just ain't a player on the team. So just know that. And y'all got the support of the community. Y'all represent Atlanta. Keep that in mind. I Coach Lake. Say, I just want to thank you all again for supporting my boys with their drip. And just in the community, you all were one of the first people in the city of Atlanta to actually sponsor my boys. So I appreciate that. And it's black on too. Exactly. So Get them trap money. Nothing like trap money. But yeah, that's exactly what this whole thing is about, man. Y'all know exactly where we at. And y'all more than welcome to use all of our resources. Whatever coming up, your big announcement, bro, when you sign, when you when you make the announcement, whoever you pick, whoever you pick. Come announce it on 85 South Show. Your mama can come in here and make them them baby shower meatballs and we'll put the, <laughs> we'll put the caps on the table. We'll do it exactly, we'll do it however you want it. to. Sign the date, draft date, day, whatever, man. So we'll put it together, man. We're gonna throw your, throw your signing party and all that, bro. When body armor come and, you know what I'm saying, under armor, all them sports drinks, t Body armor, all that, under body armor, all that. We all that, armor too. Come on, man. Come on, man. We'll get somebody sponsorship from Kale's Kitchen. I can't I'm wait for y'all to get old that. enough to go out here and we can really celebrate. But we gonna do it. We gonna do it on y'all level. No, they know what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we, we got some age appropriate celebrations for y'all yeah, too, no, man. For sure yeah. That. So yeah, just know where we at. Y'all always welcome to come out here and kick it with us. Coach Lay, seven on seven, Huncho sure. Elite, man, 85 South, the black market open. Hunt your gang or no gang, let's go. Let's ball out, let's talk, let's celebrate. Number one program in Atlanta. And I'm saying that right now, we standing on this line this shit up. These facts, years to come, get used to it. Get ready for the uniform, get ready for the drip, get ready for the trips, get ready for all this shit. Hunt your baby, no gang, no gang.